My name is Steve Valenti. I'm with Valenti Classics. I'm one of the co-founders. Uh, we've been in business for 25 years, restoring and selling and buying and trading classic, antique, and vintage cars. Uh, we do some pretty fun projects here, and one of our most exciting projects to date is to work with Stetson on a truck in celebration of their 150th anniversary. One of the neatest things for us is, is being able to work with another company and that's not an automotive company, but somehow work their product into a, a vehicle. We ended up meeting with Stetson's creative people. During that meeting, we got some, some insight as far as how we are going to, to make it, you know, look. someone looks at it and just, just flat out knows Stetson and to think of, okay, what are we gonna do with the belt buckle? How does that apply to a vehicle? Or what are we gonna do with a, a boot or a hat or something like that? And the theme is really just gonna be the Stetson brand. Um, you know, going after a truck that has those, you know, just raw vintage truck feel, but then also the blend of the, of the modern. We ended up with a Ford F-150, which was kind of cool because it's the 150th anniversary of Stetson, so it kind of paired very well together. Except now we're not sticking with Ford, it is becoming the Stetson 150. A uh, truck showed up, it got dumped off in the pouring rain, so we had the, the luxury of shoving this car in, you know, in the pouring rain into our shop. As you can see, it's uh, the tire's flat just on the one side there. We've got all the panels ripped apart so we can begin the, uh, you know, the dismantling and the paint and body portion of the restoration. On, the, on all the metal components, the, the painted areas, we're going to strip all those down to bare metal, do any rust repair that needs to be done. Uh, after we have all the metal work done, it'll go through a, a sealer, a primer, and then it'll get block sanded to ensure that it's super straight, and then it'll go through another coat of primer, another le level of block sanding and straightening, and from there we get to put the, uh, the Stetson color on it. Major tune-up, plugs, points, cap, condenser, rotor, all that good stuff. So you can get in, you turn the key, it'll, it'll fire up. Uh, we're doing custom wheels and tires on it and a brand new exhaust system so it sounds good and, and looks good as well. Custom themed interior, uh, custom graphics and paintings throughout the, the exterior of the vehicle. And we got some neat surprises when it comes to uh, some of their belt buckles and their, the soles of their boots and cologne bottles and stuff like that that we're going to work, work into, the, uh, into the build as well. all came together uh, really, really well. There was a lot of uh, late nights and extra work, uh, but yeah, like I said, everybody stepped up to the plate and really made it happen, and it was all worth it in the end. When we pulled that thing out of the garage today and, and saw that sun hit that pearl and the candy and metallic, and it just, we knew it was a cool color, but it just, it, it blew us away. So really, really proud of the job that our crew did and just some of the neat little features that we integrated into the build with the, you know, gas pedal boot and the, the backlit display area for the um, cologne bottles and the hat rack and uh, the custom steering wheel and integrating the belt buckles into the seat belts so it looks like you're wearing one of Stetson's handmade custom belt buckles. It just made for a really, really enjoyable project and again, I'm super thrilled at how, how great it turned out. It really felt like we turned something that could have been just ordinary into, into something legendary.